up everyone this is Ben Zinn with nextlevelguitar.com bringing you another video lesson and today we are going to take a look at some rut busting licks that we can apply over a jam track and rut busting to me just means you know sometimes when we're jamming and we're improvising we find ourselves playing some of the same things over and over again it happens to all of us and sometimes we just need a little push to help get us over the edge and play something new so the spirit of today's licks and examples we're going to show are some things to help jumpstart our creativity, get us out of our same routines, and inspire us to play some new things. And if you want the jam track that we're using in today's lesson, all you have to do is click on the link that you see below. If you click on that link, what we're going to do is send you this jam track that we're about to play over, plus five additional jam tracks and two written lessons, two ebooks a really nice component to our playing and practice time. Just click on the link. We'll send that all to you. So come along and let's go ahead and, and check out these three rut busting licks. Real quick, I do want to say please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you dig the lesson. Most importantly, comment down below. Uh, we love it to, when you guys uh, interact with us. We love hearing from you. So please let us know what you're thinking. Give us ideas. We listen to you guys out there. So, you know, if you have ideas for lessons, just leave them in the comment down below. Uh, and we really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. But for rut busting licks, the idea that I want to talk about today is sometimes all it takes to get out of the same routine is just learning a new pattern of pentatonic to play. Just a new organization of notes can lead to opening some doors and help you guys create some of your own licks out there. So that's what we're gonna open up with today. Our jam track is in the key of E minor, and we're switching back and forth between like E minor and B minor pentatonic, I think works really well for this particular jam track. So if I'm playing over the E minor chord, I have my basic position of E minor pentatonic here. And of course, maybe we know some ways to organize that material into pattern. We can play three note sequences. A lot of us know those sort of things. If you don't, that's a good place to start for pattern-based playing, those sorts of things. What I want to talk about is something that jumps around a little bit more. Uh, I found this one to be really helpful for getting me out of a rut here. So I'm going to start here. And the basic pattern of my, uh, my run here is going to be skipping some strings and going from low to high as I descend. Let me just play it and you'll see what I mean here. So that's the lick there. What we're doing is playing string two, string one, then string three, then string one. So that's kind of the idea. Right hand wise, I, I pick and pluck. If you want to alternate pick, you can certainly do that. I just like using my uh, fingers that aren't engaged with holding my pick to do this. The choice is yours there. the sound of the organization of that pattern of notes. It's basically the same idea, just moving down the scale. Now, as I mentioned, I think what works really well for this track is just shifting scales as you, the chords change from E minor to B minor. So with that in mind, you could take the same lick and just move it down to B minor pentatonic also works well there. So you'd play the exact same pattern, just starting at a new location. And as we show you these rut buster licks, keep in mind, you know, these are a jumping off point to get you out of your own familiar patterns and routines and ways that your your fingers move when you're jamming right so if you get inspired and you go off of the script a little bit on that lick and come up with something based on that that's actually what we're trying to do that's the spirit so use these as a jumping off point a template for building your own licks so that's what we like okay in our second rut busting lick we're going to take advantage of using some half step dissonance and this is a lot of fun so what we're going to do here is we're going to look for these opportunities where we have a note that's a half step apart on separate strings. And we love that dissonance sometimes to get us out of a rut. So I'm, I'm pre-fretting this note here and I'm going to slide into, this is a G, this is F sharp. 
I'm sliding into the F sharp. And I want to hear those two notes clashing and colliding. I love that sound. And then you can get out of that concept, you know, with running down a pentatonic. There's one example. A variation. And you know, you can use that as a template, once again, a jumping off point there. Over B minor, you can take the exact same thing here. We're going to pre-fret the D note, and I'm going to slide into C sharp. That's the key to that lick right there, getting that beautiful ugliness. I think that works really well if you just do it for a moment and then and move away from it. Perks up the ears. Half step rub there is a nice way to get out of a rut. And lastly, we're also going to take a look at some bouncing licks, some wide interval bouncing licks. Now what I mean by this is if we park our finger on the root of the chord, in this case E, and then we use our other fingers to toggle between and do some big two string skips, we can get some nice fun devices. <laughs> ideas there based on that. Switch to B minor. So I'm letting that note ring out and I'm bouncing back and forth between some other scale notes, right? So we get this nice blend of two notes here. Let's take these three rut busting concepts and apply them over the jam track so we can hear them in context. And once again, if you want that jam track that we're using in today's lesson, plus five additional jam tracks and two ebooks, all you can do is just click the link down below. That's six jam tracks in total, plus the two ebooks. And yeah, we want to send that to you guys so you can use it in your own play and practice time. And also, as always, please subscribe to the channel. We love to bring you these lessons. Want to let you know when we upload them. So once again, Ben Zinn, thanks so much for checking out this lesson for nextlevelguitar.com. Let's jam over the track. So first, let's check out that pattern based thing. So you can play it as fast or slow as you want, kind of doing it in triplets here. Once again, thanks for checking out.
checking out the video. Let's jam it out, and we'll see you next time.